My name is Stephanie, and I'm an artist and a gardener and a cancer survivor. I found a lump, and of course that starts everything, right? I thought, well, the, the doctor left a message that sounded positive, so I think it's gonna be okay. And then when I talked to her again on Monday, it wasn't okay, and it was scary. So I just started calling everybody that I knew who had had some sort of diagnosis with cancer. And I ended up interviewing probably about 20 people. Every single person I asked the same thing. What would you never do again? And what would you always choose again? One person in particular said something that changed my life. And I talked to a, a cancer therapist. I was like, what is that? I've never heard of a cancer therapist. So I called Dr. Bonnie and we started chatting once a week. The Smart Recovery Group met for 11 weeks and I believe there were six of us. After being in uh, on Zoom for 11 weeks with these wonderful people, it was remarkable to be able to go to Harmony Hill and meet them in person for the very first time. During the weekend that we were there for Harmony Hill, we uh, had a small group. And during the small group, one of the last things we did was write a letter to ourselves and kind of what we promised ourselves. November 21st, 2021. I'm sitting here in the gathering room at Harmony Hill in Union, Washington at the end of a three-day weekend. I'm surrounded by both joy and sorrow, strength and compassion, knowing and unknowing. I hope that by the time you get this, you will have reached out to these kindred souls who have also experienced the touch of cancer to reconnect with real heart conversations. I'm writing to also remind you to cultivate what's important to you, peace, love, joy, and real connection, deep connection, truth, and emotion. Remember what it felt like to be in your body and take good care of it. Remember what it felt like to be in truth and fully in the heart. Remember what's important. Remember to use these moments to show compassion to self and others. Remember that the fog will lift and the beauty that was there the entire time will show itself. Be kind and compassionate to yourself today. Make the time to love yourself and enjoy the gifts of the moment. Love, Steffi. Art and painting and collage, it's the way I express myself thoughts of fear or whatever it is really start to show up and for me art is a way to calm those voices down my art is the history of who I am and who I've become and it will continue to evolve as I evolve it just was such an inspiring and healing place to be with other like souls who were not afraid to be themselves, not afraid to be afraid. I got a phone call today from somebody who asked me the same questions I asked all the people I was trying to find out information from. On the top of my list of what I would do again, um, would I would go back to Harmony Hill. My name is Stephanie and I'm an artist and a gardener and a cancer survivor.